Hi, welcome to the floor. Today's video is a tag video. I'm very excited by this one uh, because it's about cocktails and drinking and that means I get to day drink on a Friday. Whoop whoop. Also, I believe it's Are You Okay Day? It was either today or yesterday, so I just want to do a little shout out to that. Um, it's a website, areyouokay.org.au, and it's basically a mental health awareness, suicide prevention website thing that puts the emphasis on just asking how other people are doing and being kind to other people. And so, are you okay? How are you doing? If you need to talk, I'm more than happy to talk. I'm doing okay. I'm okay. <laughs> Back to the day drinking. I'm making a pina colada. I was tagged by Oh my goodness, I don't know your name. The Reading Puppet. I'm so bad. I feel like you say hello every time and you like introduce yourself or something and I still don't know your name. I am a terrible friend. But I've decided to do pina coladas because they're the easiest cocktail to make and um, I'm not even doing them properly. It's got pineapple and rum. All that liquid at the moment is rum and it's just snap frozen fresh pineapple which is the best pineapple I think this one's from like Hawaii or somewhere else tropical and it makes all the difference I looked up on my phone very briefly how to make this cocktail so it's not gonna be perfect but I'm the only one having to drink it so cheers I will be back in a second the floor was a bad idea <laughs> okay Ooh. already sitting on the bookshelf <laughs> um I forgot the cocktail that's really funny <sighs> Oh my god, that's so good! Okay. Whew. I might be drunk by the end of this. Yes. Damn. Don't get me in too much trouble. I'm putting some fancy straws in. Granted, I bought these way before I realized how bad straws were for the universe. And now I'm stuck with them, so rather than just make them landfill. Oh, that's good squishy. If I get this video out today, and then I'm back on track and I've not missed any videos. So that's exciting. On to the tag. Actually named the cocktail tag, of course. Do you like pina colada? God, I wish I could sing. Let's try, ready? Do you like pina colada? And getting caught in the rain. That's the saddest song on earth, though. This is chunky and strong. Oh, Snapchat from Leash. Hmm. Also, I'm painting a picture. <laughs> I'm painting a picture. <laughs> oh, I tease myself so bad when I'm drunk and self-conscious. Oh no, a boy has texted me and I haven't texted him back. Oh, he's freaking out. I just, one moment. Dear Pirate King, meet me after the show. Bear with, bear with. <laughs> what are we doing with our lives? Mm. I didn't add an extra. Now I saved the questions as a photograph so that I didn't have to spend time doing this now. Here are the questions. Sex on the beach, a steamy book. This is going to be a much harder tag than I anticipated. Oh no, he asked about work. I hate it when this happens. What about the one with the spoon here? It's called Big Girl and it's Danielle Steele and it's kind of like It's not raunchy, but it's empowering, I guess, and the girl, the main character, is like this larger girl, which I relate with, and she has this sort of fear, I guess, of romance and this idea in her head that she doesn't want to hurt or break the other person, and then she sort of owns that. By the end, she's all sort of confident. So, yeah, there's that one. Danielle still wrote a really good book. A really good book. It was... Here, Danny. Oh, oh it's stuck. Oh, whew. Uh, Granny Dan. I really enjoyed this book. Like, I read it a long time ago, and I think I've read it twice. Yeah, I got it from my grandmother's house on her bookshelves, and I read it, and nice memories, I guess. Bloody Mary. A book with a killer twist. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna go out there and say it. Lightbringer. Black Prism, number one Lightbringer. I really enjoyed the twistiness of that. The whole season is full of, like, ins and outs and stuff, but that first book just was the first time it had happened and I was like, oh, oh, oh. So that was, yeah, that was cool. I, now that you'll, if you haven't read that and you're gonna go read it, you can go in there expecting a twist and it's not gonna be as good now, but yeah, Lightbringer. Pina Colada, woo! 
A book with a tropical or exotic setting. Wait, I know. I mean, it's not really that tropical or exotic. I mean, it is to me because it's not in Australia and they do technically travel. It's kind of like a road trip story, but it's up a little bit higher. So, I choose The Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue. I really, really, really like this book. Do I have to give explanations as to why? I guess I just, I did already. I feel like everything's so far away. I've got my wide angle lens on for no apparent reason. Good job I've got glasses because otherwise I would have just stabbed myself in the eye with these dangerous, world destroying straws. Cosmopolitan, a book with a sophisticated character. Am I allowed to just use the same book over and over again? Because seriously, Gentleman's Guide to Vice and Virtue? Damn, the two men in this are very sophisticated. Everyone, it's, about, it's a high society book. Everyone in there is supposed to be classy and sophisticated, but I really like the main two characters and I'm gonna just go with this book again. <laughs> Manhattan, a book that left a bad or bitter taste in your mouth. Oh, I know exactly the two that I'm gonna choose for this. It's those two that everybody else loves. You probably already know, you already know, but you were right, it's The Girl on the Train and Gone Girl. Both of these books, nah, I did not like. A bitter taste in, what, what cocktail was that? What cocktail has a bitter taste? Manhattan. I don't think I know what a Manhattan is. I feel like I should know that. If my cocktail bar that was just down the street didn't close down, I would go and order one after I finish this, but it closed down, so safety first, I guess. All right, frozen daiquiri, frozen strawberry daiquiri to be precise. A book to chill out to. I wanna just go Oscar Wilde's Collected Works. No, no, I wanna go Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because I really enjoy just picking up random segments of that and just reading like a thing here or there. Where is it? Oh, it's all the way up the top. Do you want me to get it? I'll get it, I'll get it, okay. Here it is, complete works, not complete works, just complete book. Oscar Wilde. No! <laughs> Douglas Adams! Yeah, so what I'll do to chill out sometimes is I'll just open it to a random section, right? And then, people have been dropping in on the party now for some years. Fashionable great crashes from other worlds, and for some time it had occurred to the partygoers as they had looked out at their own world beneath them with its wrecked cities, ravaged avocado farms, and blighted vineyards. Its vast tracts of new desert, its seas full of biscuit crumbs and worse, that their world was in some tiny and almost imperceptible ways not quite as much fun as it had been. See? As if that's not so cool to chill out. I would never have remembered that single sentence, which by the way is a very long sentence, unless I just picked that up. And I like how everything that I, every time that I do that, I kind of get this, I guess, nostalgia hit. Okay, card was full. Where were we at? Espresso martini. Now, I love a good espresso martini. In fact, it's in my top two cocktails. So my absolute favorite cocktail isn't even on this list, believe it or not. It's a Long Island iced tea. Best cocktail in the world. Strongest cocktail, perhaps, in the entire world, but I like them strong. So, espresso martini. A book you read late into the night. Oh, well, that's not fair. That's like every single book I've ever read. Every single good book, anyway. Ugh, come on. The first 15 and a half lives of Harry August. This was fascinating and it had like a sense of sort of uh, depth in it that I, my night mind really liked. So I liked to read this book actively at night because in the daytime I was like, w uh, what? That doesn't, does that make sense? But at nighttime I was like, oh my god, this makes perfect sense. Espresso martini. What's with the shoulder dance? All right, next up we have a Cuba, Cuba Libre, Cuba Libre, a favorite modern classic. I don't know what a Cuba Libre is at all. Oh, Turtles All the Way Down, for sure, John Green, anything John Green. I think Turtles All the Way Down was especially good because of the way that he explained his mental health situation. Oh, well, the girls, the main characters, and the sort of impulsiveness of it all. I really enjoyed that, and I mean, John Green is gonna be a classic writer one day, so surely that's gonna be one of his classic books. It, I have it, I do have it. Abundance of Catherine, looking for Alaska turtles. Here we go. Turtles, all the way down. Also, I've written some poetry that is sort of about this. Sort of. I should do a poetry reading one day. Would you guys be interested in that? Terrifying. Okay, anyway. I drank that super quick. Suggest your own cocktail and make up an appropriate question. Oh no, now I have to be creative. Alright, alright, alright. I know what I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go with... 
a Long Island iced tea because I mentioned it earlier and it's my favourite cocktail and it's the only one stuck in my head at the moment. It's either that or a mudslide because that's what my friend was drinking when she made hers. But I don't really have anything for mudslide. So I'm going to go with the ocean at the end of the lane because Long Island iced teas appear to be just a puddle and then they turn into an ocean. So a Long Island iced tea will get me very drunk very quickly. This book is magical, Neil Gaiman. It, it's creepy but it's really good and it's also a sort of... I don't know, I, I guess I project mental health into everything, but it's very good. Um, go well together. Next question. Oh no, this is the tag question, isn't it? The challenge, right, when I saw that cocktail tag, was you should totally make one cocktail for each question. And then I looked at the availability of what I had, and all I had was Malibu rum and pineapple, and I was like, pina colada it is then! So, I feel like... The challenge I presented myself didn't come through, but I feel like the tags come through. And if I had done that challenge, I might very well be dead. So, <laughs> I think everything worked out for the best. I tag. Dane at Dane Reads. Ollie Bliss, because I also was supposed to be doing your uh, tipsy book tag that you tagged me in a while ago. Bookie Laura, because always, and also I think you'd be really funny drunk. Not that you have to get drunk to do this tag, but helps. Whoop whoop. <laughs> Nash, do you drink? Even if you don't drink, the, the questions are fun. I feel like I'm living the dream right now. Why am I happier about that? You know when you stand up and you're a lot drunker than you thought you were? Yeah, that's what I just had to do because I had to change the card and I stood up and I was like, where are them cards at? Again, for the second time. That's the second time it's about to happen again. No. Man, it's funny how your personality sort of changes when you're drunk. And like, I didn't even get that drunk. I've had like two shots. But it, it gives me more energy, I guess. That's a bad thing. I should not become an alcoholic. It would be so easy. Until it's not. Um, it's a lot of sugar. I already am having a sugar rush. And I get to have Froyo later, so yay! Yogurt land for the win! Wonder if the blue one's there yet, I bet it isn't. Um, sorry about my changing accent. I'm a mimica. I'm a mimica. I mimic the voices in my head <laughs> when there's no one around, so that's fun. So remember, too, are you okay, Day? Are you okay? If you're not okay, hit me up. <laughs> Alright, this has been Chaos. Uh, thanks so much for watching. How do you turn this thing off?